It's true, then. He's met Thaniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it, anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. I'm afraid so, yes. Let's check his person. There might be something on him to help us get started. I don't deserve you, my friend. Hmm. He keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. Well, that ends you know, not as bad as it could have. <laughs> he keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Trapped there. He needs help. Calm. Breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the shadow fell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? You're Halsing. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the shadow fell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous.
You're here. Good. Now we can begin. Thaniel is trapped in the Shadowfell. But thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there. Alone. No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. It has to be me. And only me. But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. You have a part to play in this. And I trust you will play it well. With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile. Any mistake and our one chance will be lost forever. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor, to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Oak Father, hear me, aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. No, but some part of him is missing. He's hollow. I need to examine him back at the camp. Come see us when you can. Daniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. This doesn't have to be your burden alone. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute... Anything. Just say the word. Seems your ranks are quite packed. If some space frees up, I'll be ready for you. Nathaniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored, I fear. And you saw this boy yourself. That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it is still part of Thaniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow and may show signs of his power. Look for signs of life in the darkness, 
wildflowers where everything else is dead. The curse cannot subdue the power Thaniel bears. Not entirely. In fact, I saw just the sort before, not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there, but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. In truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Thaniel deep down, but it may not recognize that, or want to recognize that. Perhaps it can be reasoned with, but I'm not hopeful. Reason is not something that thrives amidst the Shadow Curse. Good. Now our roots can deepen together. If it will make you think. You bleach well enough as it is. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thaniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go on, find someone else to play with. Spoil sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. Not harder. Impossible. I don't want to play with you anymore. Ugh. He's scarfed. We'd better track him down if the shadows don't stop us first. Why can't I just stay here, playing? I had everything I've ever wanted, right here! And you've ruined it! I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary, even when I was alone, I didn't give up. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. So I wouldn't have to make up friends to play with anymore. I'd have someone real. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right, I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can.
swift as my feet can carry me. The druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor, still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being, for the land to heal. Ketherick Thorn must die. Already feeling better. Oakfather, preserve you. So do I. But one duty at a time. Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse. I had to leave the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. You're right. But the work is not yet done. Not while Ketherick Thorm still draws breath. Ketherick's soul still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him, so the land may heal. So that I may heal. 